The dawn of a new decade brings us to the year 1970. The year itself was pretty low-key, but remnants of the 1960s still persisted. During this year, people who were protesting the war and civil rights began to look for other ways to seek change, so some of their attention shifted to the environment. With the invasion of Cambodia, the U.S. was still deeply involved in the Vietnam War, but were looking for ways to expand, equip, and train South Vietnamese forces so we could draw down U.S. combat troops. On January 25th, the movie MASH, directed by Robert Altman, was released. It starred Donald Sutherland and Elliot Gould and was a massive success, giving birth to the long-running TV show of the same name years later. January 27th brought us a new movie rating system, modifying the M for Mature to PG, which stood for Parental Guidance. This was done mainly due to the confusing nature of the term Mature Audiences. On February 13th, which happened to be Friday the 13th, Black Sabbath's self-titled debut album was released. Although it wasn't released in the U.S. until June, this album is often regarded as the first true heavy metal album and established heavy metal as a music genre. On April 1st, the U.S. Census Bureau released new population figures for the United States. The population at the time was nearly 209 million people, with California becoming the most populous state over New York for the first time. Only three states had their populations go down, North Dakota, South Dakota, and West Virginia, which had the most. On April 13th, the crew aboard Apollo 13, bound for the moon, experienced an oxygen tank explosion that forced them to abandon the mission. The words, Houston, we have a problem, would go on to become a common phrase anytime something went wrong, but NASA really had a problem on their hands. For four days, the astronauts and mission control solved logistical problems in stabilizing the spacecraft and its air supply and provided enough energy to the damaged fuel cells to allow for a successful re-entry. On April 17th, the astronauts splashed down in the Pacific Ocean as the world watched. Earth Day was first observed on April 22nd, when an estimated 20 million people nationwide attended the inaugural events. By the end of the year, the Nixon administration would also establish the Environmental Protection Agency and pass the Clean Air Act. During the Kentucky Derby held on May 2nd, Diane Crump became the first woman to jockey a horse in the Derby. Crump rode a horse named Fathom and finished the race 15th in a 17-horse field. On May 4th, at Kent State University in Ohio, 28 National Guardsmen fired their weapons at a group of anti-war demonstrators, killing four students, wounding eight, and permanently paralyzing another. The tragedy was a watershed moment for the nation, divided by the conflict in Vietnam, and further galvanized the anti-war movement. On June 11th, Anna Mae Hayes and Elizabeth Hosington were among the first women to be made generals in the U.S. Army. The ceremony was held at the Pentagon, where both had their Brigadier General Star pinned on their uniform. On July 4th, the American Top 40 radio show debuted on five stations with Casey Kasem as the host. The weekly three-hour show would count down the 40 most popular hits every single week, and that first show featured Three Dog Night with their number one song, Mama Told Me Not To Come. The very first all-computer chess championship was held in New York City on September 1st through 3rd. 
A program called Chess 3.0 won the event and was written by students from Northwestern University. On September 18th, Jimi Hendrix was found dead from an overdose of sleeping pills in London. The musician was just 27 years old and had just performed two days earlier. The Mary Tyler Moore Show premiered on CBS on September 19th. The show was about a TV news producer named Mary Richards, along with the staff at WJM-TV in Minneapolis. The show would air for seven seasons and featured an all-star cast. Mary Tyler Moore, Ed Asner, Gavin McLeod, Ted Knight, and Valerie Harper were just a few. On September 21st, the first Monday Night Football premiered on ABC. The show was hosted by Keith Jackson, Don Meredith, and Howard Cosell, and the Cleveland Browns beat the New York Jets 31-21. On October 2nd, a plane carrying the Wichita State University football team crashed in Colorado, killing most of the people on board. The team was on their way to a game with Utah State when the crash occurred. On October 4th, 27-year-old singer Janis Joplin died from a heroin overdose at the Landmark Hotel in Los Angeles. Later, her unfinished album, Pearl, would be released and would go to number one. On November 14th, nearly the entire Marshall University football team, along with coaches, doctors, and boosters, were killed when their plane crashed in Canova, West Virginia. The team was returning from a game against East Carolina when the accident occurred. 75 people were on board, and there were no survivors. On November 17th, electrical engineer and inventor Douglas Engelbart received a patent for his XY position indicator, which eventually became known as a computer mouse. On December 21st, Elvis Presley met President Richard Nixon at the White House to discuss the government's war on drugs. The photo of the meeting would go on to be the most requested photo from the entire National Archives. Closing out the year on December 23rd, the last bit of steel was placed on top of the North Tower of One World Trade Center. This completed the tower at 1,368 feet making it the tallest building in the world, surpassing the Empire State Building.